Hi, my name is Adi Velasco. I'm uh, with uh, American Bridge and Floor, the joint venture. I'm a quality assurance engineer. Okay. I've been on the project for uh, three plus years now. What are your hours like? I think I live farthest away than anyone else uh, on the project. I get up at uh, about five o'clock in the morning uh, and then have to be on the island by, uh, by seven. And then we are here till five o'clock in the evening and then uh, go back home so and how do you commute uh, I personally I have to take a um, everyone there's a shuttle bus that picks everyone up basically since most everyone lives in the same neighborhood um, I have to take a cab to the nearest bus stop uh, where the shuttle picks me up and then the, I just ride the shuttle in with the rest of everyone else so why, why did you move so far away uh, it's where the action is everyone lives in Pudong I live in Pushi which is where the, the actual city and downtown is. I, I make the sacrifice of an extra half hour a day commuting the first couple years here was rough because we'd have to take a boat a ferry boat to the island and that was uh, that was really rough <laughs> that was um those were some bad days sometimes but now you got the tunnel that uh, that's been built and it's just it's made life infinitely easier and when were you born I was born uh, September 5th, 1977. Where? Uh, I was born in the Philippines. Um, yeah, and uh, moved to the States when I was seven years old. What did your parents do? Uh, my parents are, uh, well, they're both retired now, but uh, my mom was a nurse and my father back in the Philippines was a university professor. So you moved to the U.S. and where did you move to? Uh, moved to Los Angeles initially, and then uh, after a few years in Los Angeles, we moved to Las Vegas, and that's where I consider myself from. My, where did uh, you go to school? Uh, university of Southern California. I went to school on an Army ROTC scholarship. So how long were you in the Army? Seven years. And did you uh, go overseas? I was stationed in Germany initially, and I uh, deployed to Kosovo and Bosnia. And did you like the Army? Uh, I loved it. I thought it was a great, uh, it was a good opportunity for me. I thought it, um, it, it changed my life. And when did you come to China? I came to China initially in uh, 2007 was my first time I was in China. Are you uh, married or a single guy? I'm single. Single guy? What's it like to be a single guy in China? Um, I think uh, experiences vary. I, uh, I've, uh, for me, it's been, you know, it's, it's, it's been good because I, I like to travel. Where have you gone? Uh, within China, I've been to, you know, Beijing, seen the Great Wall of China, Hong Kong. I've done a lot of some hiking trips around. Uh, local places uh, around, you know, South Asia, you know, Japan, Korea, Indonesia, um, Philippines, uh, Thailand. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get to Cambodia here eventually before the project is over. If you had to describe your job uh, to a stranger, what would you tell them? Um, I just tell them I build bridges, <laughs> but you know, I think, that's, I think that's impressive enough for them. What kind of respect do you have for the Chinese welders? I'm always amazed. They, they struggle, yet they, they keep going, you know, and it's, I mean, it's really is really one of the most uh, more impressive things that I've, I've noticed in, in Shanghai and it's just, you know, the Chinese as a people is how willing they are to do hard work, you know, and how um, comfort and, and, and these, these kinds of things, it, it, it takes a back seat to actual, you know, let's Let's get stuff done. Well, how do you feel about building the, this bridge? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's been a, a couple years, so you know, sometimes I get tired of telling the story, and every time you meet somebody, you know, this is what I do, and then, oh wow, and they're so impressed. And you know, I was really excited about it. You know, I, looking yeah. back on it, you know, uh, and in this forum right now, it's really a kind of exciting thing. You know, you tell people uh, you're building a bridge, and then, oh, they ask you where the bridge is, and you say it's in California, and you're like, they say, say again, you know? It's like, it's, yeah, it's, you know, the bridge is in California, it's in San Francisco. We're doing it in China, and they're shipping the pieces over, you know, piece by piece. And it's it is uh, it's it's you know it's it's impressive, right? And I think that um, I don't know. I have one of the coolest jobs in the world.